You're listening to Rotten and the Freeman Show podcast every week in your car and on YouTube. Welcome, guys, to Rotten and the Freeman Show. Mr. Rotten, dude, it's been a while, man. It's 2024. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. 2024 is going to be amazing and uh, full of adventure and exciting events, I'm sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, we got went through the holidays. I hope your holidays was good. Mine was great. It uh, was. But 2024, man, Rotten and the Freeman Show, we're uh, going to get back on track doing episodes. We kind of took a month break uh, back yeah. you know, when, when we had uh, – the the producer on from from the tv show evan and uh you know we are really looking forward to 2024 man but i noticed that you've been camping man i, I love have. your camping videos and you have a Grace. camping channel that we need to shout out on here but i uh, kind yeah. of you know kind of get back in the groove of things we've been doing and what we plan for 2024 here in a 10 or 15 minutes to uh kind of warm back up to the mics warm man. back I got into a, it <clears throat> got a new camera i got a new boom stand so Santa Claus was good to me, man. Was he good to you, right? <laughs> Santa Claus was good to me. But as always, you know, there's there's some things that you think about taking back, but you don't really take back because you don't want to hurt Santa Claus's feelings. <laughs> yeah, 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 I've been but, there, uh, done that. Yeah, it, it was a great uh, holiday, um, great New Year. Um, I, I watched a bunch of the New Year celebrations that they had online, like New York and different places around the world. Dubai yeah. had a really good uh, New Year that they brought in. But it wasn't the same kind of energy that I, that was there like in the 80s or the 90s. I remember people just jumping four feet in the air, you know, whenever it was New Year's and everybody's kissing oh, yeah. each other. It was a little bit uh, low key this time. And I saw a lot of people staring down at their phones during the New Year, which was kind of wild to me. But yeah, I times think, are changing. I think that 2024 is going to usher in um, less screen time by adding more technology if that makes any sense i don't know yeah yeah i'll have to share some things with you that i've learned but yeah you mentioned our family camping um our youtube page is camp therapy camp I therapy call it, i call it camp therapy because that's what it is for me we go camping in various places all over texas uh, at some point we'll probably venture outside of texas and go to oklahoma maybe up to south carolina north carolina and yeah, see some of the things that you guys have up there but we went our latest trip was to uh, yegua creek park and it was amazing so if you go to camp therapy on youtube <laughs> camp therapy is is where we are housing all of our um, camping adventures and the things that we use while we go camping uh, there's not right. it's not overly done by by any means but i do kind of give a nod to all the different tools that we use because when you go camping there's a, a million different things that you that you have to use and so i kind of uh, throw all those on the table for us to use but man this year is going to be amazing right off the start there's a ton of things that we can talk about uh, as the season goes yeah but, um hiring it's a hires market uh, so if people are afraid to quit they can quit and get a job on the way home so that's kind of a, a new thing but the economy is kind of suffering a little bit gas prices and um, prices for anything groceries and everything is kind of going up so we can talk about that and weave in some politics little um, electric cars cyber truck is out uh, a lot yeah. of electric cars that i know of are having issues in the cold weather because we had that cold snap came through and froze everybody's yeah, yeah. cheeks arctic off. blast all over yeah arctic blast all over the u.s man <clears throat> And so Here that's, in North Carolina uh, today, today it was 14 degrees and it felt like zero, I think, with the wind chill. But yeah, man, I, my pipes didn't freeze. So it's a good day here at Freeman Kingdom. <laughs> that is. Pipes froze at my job and water went all over the place. I'm a safety manager. And so there's um, water all over the place and all hell's breaking loose. But, you know, we'll figure it out just as anybody with a home or a business or something like that. But it's, it's only going to get, I, I think it's. Uh, kind of what's going to happen as the days roll. We'll still yeah. get cold days. And it's at the very beginning of the cold season really here for us in Texas. So. Yeah. A lot of times we get snows here in North Carolina every few years, but usually it's like February, end of January. So I'm really hoping that we do get some snow. Mm -hmm. uh, but my New Year's, man, you know, I was DJing. Uh, the vibe was good. Uh, you know, speaking of, of New Year's Eve, you know, the whole mm -hmm. New Year's song, has always been depressing for me. New Year's is not really? uh, has never been my favorite 
event. Saint it's Ives. always like the build up. You go out, you know, you got to get home safe. But I was DJing. I was drinking. Uh, I had a couple of pints that uh, the brewery where I was DJing gave me mm-hmm. uh, it's still hands. Uh, but dude, you know, 2024, I think I'm going to be DJing a lot more. If you get on my Facebook yeah. page, it's facebook.com forward slash DJ Freeman Daddy. Uh, DJ Freeman Daddy. And, and, you know, anywhere in the United States, man, I can uh, DJ events and stuff. So uh, I, I post That's a lot so of cool. things over there. I posted a lot from the New Year's Eve event. I do a lot of stuff for the local schools and all. But uh, 2024 is going to be a good year for writing in the Freeman Show. You know, we want to ask people to leave down in the comments. And as we gradually build this show, we're trying to figure out what people like. Do you like current events? Do you like yearly annual events? Mm-hmm. Do you like to hear talk about travel? Do you like gadgets? You know, we're able to do whatever we want here on Rotten in the Freeman Show. We could talk about green beans and make a show out of it. Yeah. But what are things that you like? Do you like uh, to hear our adventures? Do you like current events? Do you like politics? Do you like not politics? Do you like mm-hmm. just whatever? You know, uh, the door is definitely open for here and uh, on Rotten in the Freeman Show. So just let us know down in the comments exactly what you guys enjoy you know we can do longer shows we can do shorter shows you know we've done 30 minute shows 40 minute shows but it seems like our groove is about 10 minute shows and a lot of times Mm -hmm. we'll sit down in sessions and record 10 minutes here 10 minutes here 10 minutes here and 10 minutes here and it's always a good thing here on right in the freeman show so let us know 2024 is going to be the year for us for uh really growing we kind of warmed up the mics trying to get new equipment new camera new uh, red boom stand here but uh you know gradually building this show up and i just having fun man yeah it's gonna be super fun man (laughs) and uh we're gonna start weaving in different guests we kind of dipped our toe in the water uh last year we have an evan glover on from fight boy and but he's got new movies out he's got a second movie now or third movie now on amazon so we'll probably have him come back but other uh actors and just different guests that we have are going to come on the show sean and i come from a horror background and so a lot of the people that we have interviewed in the past um are from that vein. zombies yeah but they all have their own lives their own interests and stuff like that so if we have somebody that came in that did a horror movie we might not talk about horror with that person we might talk about the green beans yeah. that they had last <laughs> last weekend yeah so, like i've been talking to nat jones yeah. which which draws horror stuff you know he, he's the the illustrator for all the 68 comics but he's done mm-hmm. spawn and marvel and death dealer and D and all kinds of stuff but Nat Man. Jones is a really good guy from up in Canada, which, you know, he agreed to come on the show. But we're going to start lining up interviews and, uh, you know, not necessarily doing 30 minute interviews, but snippets that are enjoyable for you guys. So, sure. you know, let us know the longer shows, the shorter shows. You do both. We can mix it up however you want. But uh, 2024, we just wanted to kind of drop in with a mm. quick show to, to break off. We're going to record a couple other shows after this one to carry it on and get back in the groove of Rotten and the Freeman show. But Mr. Rotten, man, yes. where can people find you? Please go find me on X. I'm at Eddie Rodden and Rotten Freeman. Uh, I think that you're going to like what we bring to the table this year. A lot of very interesting, yeah. compelling conversations that we have with different people. So please go find me there on Facebook. Yeah. It's uh, William Hauser. You can find me on Facebook and all the fun things that we do. Of course, on YouTube, go find us at Rotten Freeman Show and go check out my other YouTube page. It's Camp Therapy. I think you'll enjoy that. Yes. Too. A lot of fun. Yes, definitely. And you can find me on Twitter.com slash or x.com slash Freeman daddy five Instagram. I'm yeah. Freeman daddy five, just Freeman daddy. And then the number five and then follow my DJing page. Like I said, I can DJ where DJ wherever at facebook.com forward slash DJ Freeman daddy. But on behalf of Mr. Rotten and myself, Freeman daddy five, we call episode this episode, the first one of 2024 total rap, man. Good to talk yep. to you again, Mr. Rotten. Yeah. It was good so, to record so some more shows. See I'm you guys. excited about 24. What? Love you guys. Yeah.